there, boys, girls, and squirrels. My name is Must, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. So, a couple things. If you guys follow this channel at all, you know that I got really sick over the last day or so. I even ended the live stream early, and it was a great time. Anyways, we've been building a little bit in Conan Exiles off camera, and I thought I would share some of that with you. Part of the reason is because the server, for whatever reason, keeps going down and has to be reset, and, um... The owner of the server isn't always available to be able to reset it when I get the time to play. And so what I wanted to do was go on my single player world, you know, open it up to my friends so that they can come on as well, but do some building and be creative. And so what we did was I totally redid the idea of the staircase in its entirety. As you guys can see here, we have some lights. We have some fanciness going on here. It's a good time. So let's go ahead and show you what we changed and why I think it's better. First and foremost, it looks cooler. That's 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 a given right now. It looks kind of like a castle. And we'll fix this wall um, up in this region. I don't know why I was pointing at my monitor. You can't see it. We'll fix that wall here pretty soon. But all sniffles aside, which I do apologize for, it's going to happen because your boy can hardly breathe. All right. Let's go ahead and take a li little jaunt up here. We have the main house that's back here. Um, I experimented with building shapes and stuff right there, but yeah, that that's for another video, maybe. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but we have a staircase that's coming from this main foundation. By the way, if you look at the map, we are in the same exact spot we were on the server, so I can show you how that looked. Anyways, so let's go ahead and take a jaunt up here. This is just a wall that was strictly designed to give us access I forgot a wall there. Uh, we'll have to come back and fill that in. But <laughs> um, but this is just a wall that's designed to give you access up to the top without having to climb or use the elevator. Quite frankly, this is faster than the elevator, but the elevator looks really cool. So, And it gives us access to do some really cool stuff, which, by the way, is going to be today's video. All right, so you get up here, and we have kind of this nice little angle. What I'm most proud of is, what is it, brazier? 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 Brazier. I don't know. I think it's a brazier. Braze, brazier. Brazier? Brazier. It's like Fraser with a B, I think. I don't know. Could be wrong. But we took some campfire and we put them um, on some of those angular foundations and just made a small circle. And then we put some walls on top to give those big kind of like you're walking into something epic um, feeling. And so remember the staircase we had a horrible issue with and we couldn't get it to work and it was all weird angle and just all over the place. Well, I fixed that. Because we started with a foundation here, right? And we made sure that everything in the entirety of this map was connected to that. So that no matter what I build and where I build, I can always do it. I'll explain how that, how I had to do that. And I'll have to do flying to show you guys. Because it was a long, grueling process without flying. But hindsight's twenty twenty. So you get here, and you got this beautiful little place here, right? Now this is what is a little weird for me. Now there's no good way that I found to get a really cool angle on these stairs without having these walls to give you the actual support because ultimately it's you want it to be defensible but you really want it to look cool that that's the main point i'm making here so you get up here you go around and i might add some of the smaller uh, bra braziers uh brazier you know what all right here's what we're gonna do team we're gonna do this don't you worry we're gonna go to google Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna pronounce this. All right. Here we go. Here, here we go. We're gonna full screen this bad boy. Brazier. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I was right. It's Fraser with the B. Brazier. Uh, Brazier is a a, a bra. Uh, in case you guys wondered. Um, but yeah, I digress. Brazier. <laughs> we got a bunch of braziers everywhere. And then you come up here to the reveal where we have some walls, and I have done literally nothing but fill this in. Um, I take that back. I did do one thing. I added kind of this makeshift bridge uh, because I wanted it to look really cool. And now one thing I forgot to equip, um, and maybe I'll do a video on it, um, but the crafting mechanics in this game are a little unique. You have things like... Um, you have that uh, repair uh, hammer um, that shows you the structural integrity of things starting at 100 with foundations connected to the dirt or earth and then things like ceilings take that down by 20 every single time. why is that one 
I'll have to fix that. Anyways, take it down by 20 every single step they go, down to a maximum of 20 points. So you have, that would be 80, 60, 40, 20. And you have 80, 60, 40, but since that's in the middle, it kind of bridges the gap, so you don't have to worry about uh, not having that option. So that's literally as far as that could be built without having a pillar of some sort. Um, so I found that out, and that, that that's an interesting mechanic, but this over here is what our main goal is today. Now I have the top started and I put one wall down just to make sure everything squares up the way it should. And that is going to be our elevator shaft. But now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn on flying real quick to show you how I had to make sure that this was squared up as it needed to be. All right, flying is on. And the reason I came up with this idea is because on the server, I tried to build an elevator ship. We're gonna go ahead and scroll into first person while we're flying here. Keep it simple. Look, I can see my legs crossed. Um, anyways, so we got this guy here, right? And I can probably go ghost, I think, but my, I, li I kind of like having my hands in it. It's great. <laughs> but I had the idea of building this elevator shaft um, on the server. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna start with a block down at the bottom and we're gonna try to make it work. Nothing would square up and I had to do this weird awkward shape to have the shaft work and so in this one What I had to do and I did this without flying mind you so it's doable But what you would do is you would come here you'd build the foundation out You would build ramps put a foundation on this and you'd keep going and going and building this foundation So that it's touching all the different spots in there So foundation here ramps down so you can touch a foundation there foundation here um, And eventually you get to the point. Oh Hello You'll see that I left some of my foundations here. Let's get rid of those real quick. Alright. Alrighty. And I destroyed those from the top uh, from the top down so that I could end down here. But anyways, you would get that foundation to the point where you'd eventually come down to the spot where it's here. And then what I had to do was I had to continually build this and square it up so that all of this stuff would be in the same locale. So let's go ahead and take flying off real quick. We're gonna walk. I don't, I'm sure there's some hotkeys somewhere, but I don't care. Anyways, I had the idea of, let's make it feel kind of like, since we're going to be putting a, uh, I'm going to do that map room over here, just like I said on the server. I think it'll look really cool. Um, I wanted to give the feel of walking into a pyramid, because I really like the idea of, like, Egyptian architecture. I think it's really cool. Um, and so you get this idea of walking into a pyramid, and then you get the uh, stone brick uh, walls here that are going to give us the beautiful illusion of having... A chef and there's gonna be all of these guys here are going to be done with these little uh, I don't know frames what are they called what are they called oops wrong button they're called stone brick frames exactly because they have that's right windows like an elevator shaft <laughs> so I'm gonna showcase kind of how this is done and then I'm gonna do this all off camera just to kind of expedite but you have to do this and you have to go up one at a time yep that's right and you just repeat the process all the way up and they do the same thing on the way down right and if you're super super talented at this you can actually multitask and I've tried it um, but you can do two walls at the same time. You just have to be really on top of your game because sometimes it doesn't like to um, snap in the correct positioning. Right, I should need what? One more? Maybe two. We'll give it two just in case. All right. And it's a pretty, with the elevator going at the speed it's going, it's a pretty easy process to do in survival. So you don't have to worry about fall damage or anything like that, which is kind of nice. But then you still have the same type of opening that we had on the server. So I wanted to replicate everything I had on the server previously and just make it better. So we're going to go ahead and finish this thing. Um, although it might not take that long, I do want to finish it so that we can kind of get started on the process of figuring out how we want to um, take care of maybe some of the architecture. And I want to start with framing this building um, in such a way where we can have those like little pillars with the overhangs that I've been talking about so consistently. So we're going to finish this and I will see you guys when we get there. All right. And our building is done. And I thought it'd be a cool idea to kind of do this towards nighttime because I added some braziers. <laughs> Getting educated. <clears throat> okay. Too much energy. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Um, but every six windows, I put a brazier up, and then we have some lighting up on the top there, because lighting really makes things look good in Conan Exiles. That's a great tale of whether you're building something that's going to make sense in this world, is how well it is lit. Now, here's the issue, so to speak, is they kind of overlap in a very weird way so let's go ahead and show you like first and foremost you guys already saw these we got the three braziers right well now let's go ahead and go up you'll notice it and i'm gonna stand on this side just to, I, I haven't gone up this elevator since um adding them i added them on the way down but we will see how it looks going back up all right we're almost there team we can feel it getting brighter the time has come the end just Oh, I guess it's not. They, they kind of phase through our elevator. <laughs> because I was going to add one of those wall torches because I think it would make more sense. But for whatever reason, these specific brazier, braziers were the only ones that I could add. And I do not know why at all. But that being said, we're going to go ahead and finish this. And then we're going to reset everything to daylight because... The grand reveal is going to be amazing. Let's let's hope it's as cool as I think it's going to look. Alrighty. So we're going to get up here. Show me some beautiful things, boys. Show me some beautiful things. Yay. Hey. And we got those decorative pillars there. Look at us go. Alright, I put the decorative pillars because... Well, look at that. We just got this nice little... Kind of foundation here. And, and it, I may have been able to put them towards the end here. Just to make it look nicer. But I like having these torches that close to this because it really makes things look nice. Now, with all that being said and done, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of planning. Um, I think we may actually work on the well area next just to make it look nice and fancy. So I'm going to plan to see what we want to do there, and I'll try to make it quick. And we'll be right back. So I know I said I was going to build something else in this... <laughs> in this episode and I apologize for that because I lied okay I'm a filthy scoundrel I was just gonna do like a fancy little border kind of maybe round off the edges make it look nice and kind of smooth and fancy but leave it open but then I found this gate and you know what I came to the conclusion that I kind of want to do a little temple for a water because ultimately in a world like this Water is going to be in here. Get out of there. Thank you. Water is going to be one of the most important things in a society. So, what we're going to try to do is replicate the idea of like these whole like pyramid esque like temple structures on uh, most of the things down here. And then we're going to go with a very extravagant kind of almost manor esque uh, temple on the top. I know I like the idea of temples because they're really cool structures but anyways we're gonna take this and we're gonna make this into a nice little temple for our little water structure here and we rounded this off in hopes that that would help kind of solidify the idea of bringing in support for this now what i might do is get rid of this boy so that we can put it back maybe here or on this i'm not sure we'll figure it out when we get there but without further ado Thank you guys so much for joining me. Remember, like and comment and subscribe are great tools for you to get in touch with me. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, and, well, what you want to see next. If you aren't a member of this community, as always, remember to subscribe because I'd love to have you here. I would love to hear your input on things you want to see built. Um, maybe you want to try to replicate, for instance, one of the pyramids. I think that'd be really cool. I think this is the game to do it in. Um, and heck, maybe we can start doing some Egyptian structures on like a creative let's build because I like the texture I like the graphics of this game way more than gra uh, Minecraft and so I would be excited to try to translate some of the skills I learned in Minecraft to Conan But that being said, I'm gonna shut my filthy little cake hole Remember to hit that bell notification icon to stay what we do uh, Stay up to date on what we do on a daily basis English is getting really hard with this cold my throat's getting sore So I'm just gonna end it here Remember I love you guys and we will see you next time Toodles!